guys so today I'm gonna to be doing kind of like a burgundy slash plum makeup look and this is what it looks like I recreated it based off of my Gryffindor shirt and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this look it took me a long time to film so here it is so enjoy so let's get started Woo! So right here, I'm taking Mary Kay's foundation primer, and the cool thing is it has SPF 15. So I'm going to take that and apply that to my face and blend it all in. And then right here, I'm taking Mary Kay's medium coverage foundation in Ivory 100, and I'm applying that to my hand, and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it all in. I don't know why I did my voice like that. Man, I'm weird. And right here, I'm taking Mary Kay's under eye corrector, and basically, this just minimizes any dark circles you may have. So then I took Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. So then I applied that underneath my eyes, and I used a different technique in this video. I decided to use my finger to blend it, and it came out really good. I usually use my beauty blender, but I decided to use my finger, and honestly, I think my finger did the best coverage with this concealer, so that's really cool. Then I used Mary Kay's translucent powder and I used this to bake underneath my under eyes. So I took my beauty blender and I started to preheat my face. So eventually I took two different shades of the Perfecting Concealer by Mary Kay. And so I took Deep Ivory and Light Ivory. I used Deep Ivory to cover my blemishes. And eventually I'm going to use Light Ivory to highlight my face before I begin to contour. So like I said, I took light ivory, as y'all can see, and I use this to highlight my face. And as everyone could see, I use my beauty blender to blend it all in. Then I took Mary Kay's Press Powder in Ivory 2 and I took my big face powder brush and I used this to basically set my whole face, cover my face, and take off the baking I did. Then I took Wet n Wild's Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche and I took my e.l.f. contouring brush and I used a brown shade to contour my face. And then I eventually used Elf's small taper brush and I took the white highlighting shade and I used this to kind of highlight around the areas I contoured. So I used Mary Kay's eye crease brush and I used it because it is more precise. So I used the brown shade from the Wet n Wild contouring palette and I used it to contour my nose. And then I used the white highlighting shade from the contour palette and I used it to highlight my face yet again. Then to blend in my contour and not make it as harsh, I use my translucent powder with my powder brush. And I also use my beauty blender to blend it all in. And then I use Mary Kay's blush in Cherry Blossom and then I took my cheek brush and I used that to apply my blush. 
And then I took two of Makeup Revolution's highlighters and they're the baked ones and one's in peach lights and one is in golden lights. And then I took this brush from Mary Kay and I used that to apply my highlighter. And let me just say, I really wanted to be glowing for the gods. So you guys will see me applying a lot. And then I took Mary Kay setting spray and I used it to make sure everything is intact. I used my classic blonde eyebrow pencil from Mary Kay and I drew it on and then I brushed out my eyebrows like I usually do. And then I took eyebrow gel and I used it to slick it down. And then I took Mary Kay's Perfecting Concealer in Light Ivory with my concealer brush from Mary Kay as well and I used it to shape my brows and highlight underneath my brow bone. I took Mary Kay's eye primer and I applied it to my eyelids and now you guys are going to see that I did an eye off the of camera so don't worry I planned that for a reason. <laughs> Then I took my chocolate bar palette from Too Faced and I took white chocolate and I took my eyeshadow brush from Mary Kay and I applied that all over my eyelid and underneath my brow bone. So then I took some tape to make sure that my eyeshadow had a sharp edge. So then I took Elle's blending brush and then I took salted caramel from Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I used that color and I put it in my crease. And then I took Mary Kay's crease brush and I took that red shade from the Morphe, what is it, 35 OS palette and I applied that to my crease. And stupid me didn't have my face in the frame the whole time so I apologize in advance. So then I took that other red shade and I used that with the e.l.f. crease brush and I applied that to my crease. So with that same crease brush, I took the Cherry Cordial shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I applied that to my crease. And then from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, I took the Triple Fudge shade and I used the same crease brush to apply it to my crease. Then what I did is I went back and forth with all of the shades and I used every shade to basically deepen the look because I wanted it to look really dramatic. So I just went back and forth with every shade, blended that into my crease. So you see me keep on doing that. Yeah, <laughs> this eye look was pretty crazy and it was definitely out of my comfort zone. And then I added those two shimmer shades from the Morphe palette and I applied that to the middle of my crease and you guys couldn't even see that. And then I took the Champagne Shuffle shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I applied that underneath my brow bone and my inner corner. And I forgot to show you guys me curling my eyelashes so I took Mary Kay's Lash Love Mascara and Mary Kay's Lash Intensity Mascara. So on the top eyelashes I used both mascaras and on the bottom eyelashes I used Mary Kay's Lash Love Mascara. And then you couldn't even see my face in the frame. Like, oh my gosh, guys, I fail at filming sometimes. So I apologize. And using Elf's crease brush, I took those two colors that I used earlier and I used that to apply to my lower lash line and my face wasn't even in the frame again. So yeah, I fell at life. I am so sorry. And I took the color Marzipan from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I applied that to the middle of my eyelid. So eventually I put concealer on my lips and I took NYX Liquid Soy Lipstick in Vintage and I applied that to my lips and I had to fix it too. It was so hard to put on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this makeup look and thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that my video schedule is every Wednesday and Friday so see you then. And also be sure to click the notification bell down below to be notified every time I post a new video. So yeah, that is it. Bye guys. Deuces.